Britain's governing Conservative Party is dramatically losing seats in local council elections with a former political outsider, the Eurosceptic UK Independence Party, making impressive gains. Early results show UKIP has so far grabbed 26% of the vote while coming second in the by-election in South Shields, pushing the Tories into third place. Artis Polyboyka is following the vote, which could have long-lasting repercussions for British politics. South Shields used to be the seat of former Labour Foreign Minister David Miliband and it was seen as a real litmus test for how people are feeling at the moment and Labour managed to keep hold of that seat but with UKIP nipping at their heels so they've come in second and it's significant because what it shows is a pattern is emerging. Over the past six months UKIP have come second in four by-elections most notably in Eastleigh very recently and it's showing that UKIP this was a party that was until very recently seen as marginal. One senior Conservative minister described it, uh, described them as clowns only very, very recently. But it looks like they're having the last laugh. This is a party that's notably Eurosceptic. They want to see Britain out of the European Union. They're not happy with the way that Brussels dictates policies for the UK, how much money the UK Treasury forks out for the European Commission every month. And the fact that they've got such gains shows how fed up the British people are with the political status quo in this country. The pattern emerging is very clear. The ruling coalition parties, the Conservatives and the Liberal Democrats have sustained losses in council seats, quite significant ones. In fact, Labour have made slight gains, nothing to write home about. This was really the night of the UK Independence Party. By the count so far, they looks like they've gained an average of over 26% of the vote in the war where they were represented in. So overnight, we've seen a real change to the British political landscape because there are now going to be UKIP councillors all over the UK. Some might end up holding quite significant power. And it's, you know, this is a party, as I said, it was seen as very marginal until very recently. It was the place, uh, the none of the above party, the place where people lodged their protest vote because they were so fed up with the established status quo, the Lib Dems, the Conservatives and the Labour Party, but that has all changed overnight. We've seen Nigel Farage, the leader of the UK Independence Party, appearing on television this morning saying he's delighted with the results so far, that he's, uh, he, he says that it really shows that UKIP is a long-lasting political party. Their success hasn't been short-term. And the chairman of the Conservative Party this morning had to concede that clearly their party is failing to get their message across, and they're going to have a think about what they can do to change that. And uh, let's now take a closer look at the early results of Britain's local elections. We have three main parties there. And the rising star of the show, the UK Independence Party. So far, the Tories are down 75 seats, so it's coming. So their coalition partners, the Liberal, here we are, so 75 seats uh, down. Liberal Democrats have seen a little less humiliating loss of 16 seats. The Labour Party did better. They are... 42 seats up, and uh, UKIP actually got uh, 42 new councillors. The unexpected result, widely viewed as a sign it could pose a real threat to the three traditional parties at the 2015 general election. And uh, John Gaunt, broadcaster and columnist who recently joined UKIP himself, explains why, in his opinion, it's a better alternative. Ordinary people, working class citizens, are fed up of the political elite and the political establishment uh, who have been running the country for the past 30 or 40 years. UKIP was a protest party just about being a member of the European Union. Uh, overnight, it's become a fully fledged political party. It's got the fastest growing membership. I think it's put 10,000 new members on in the last couple of months. Because what people want is a party that's going to put the United Kingdom first. So they want things like, they want to get out of the European Union, which clearly costs Britain £52 million pounds a day to be a member of. They want to have control over their own borders. With their UKIP want to halt immigration and drastically reduce immigration over the next five years. And I think that's what resonates with people.
They're fed up of professional politicians who are just feathering their own nests. They want people who have come from all walks of life, who've had normal jobs, who can actually lead the United Kingdom in a different way. That's what's happened. And it, as I say, it's no longer just a protest vote. This is a vote for change. And the UK is going to go under fundamental change over the next few years.